Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Asad Ali and uh, I'm making this video because recently I made a video about how to run Selenium on Google Colab and uh, I, I got a lot of comments telling me that uh, the solution, the way we used to uh, run Selenium on Google Colab is not working anymore and we are getting an error that says uh, Google probably Google crash, uh, Google Chrome crash with error code 1. That is a pretty common error that uh, tells us that um, our Google Chromium, uh, sorry, Google Chrome is not installed in your computer. Okay, so uh, to solve that, um, just follow these steps. And the reason this is happening is because uh, when I looked into the Google forums and other platforms, I realized that uh, Google guys have decided to update. Uh, Ubuntu operating system to I guess 22 and 22.0 uh, and uh, uh, because of that um, that affected our Chromium browser the way we install Chromium browser in our computers so uh, now uh, to solve that we have a different method to install uh, Chromium in our uh, Chromium browser in our computer so to do that you need to follow these steps and you will be able to run your Chromium um, web driver and uh, Selenium on your uh, Google Colab. So let's start. All right. So uh, first, let's create a new Google Colab uh, notebook. Just go to Google or uh, just go to your uh, create a new notebook here. Now, first of all, let's install Selenium. The simply the way we do from Selenium import web. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, pip install Selenium. Run this. Okay, uh, as you can see there it is connecting. I let it connect to its instance. Uh, it will take like a uh, few seconds to connect. Once it does, it will simply execute this command. All right, as you can see that uh, Selenium is installed. You can see this tick and uh, let's add a new row here and uh, just copy paste. I will um, comment all of this in your, uh, in this video description so that you can just copy and paste in your cell okay uh, the, what it does is that it simply uh, creates um, uh, Debian Buster the reason we are doing this is because uh, no we cannot install Chromium browser outside of snap anymore so snap is basically a library that is used to install packages in a Linux Ubuntu environment okay so um, before that we were using apt get install uh, Chromium browser and we were able to get um, Chromium browser uh, outside of snap okay so uh, let's uh, once you have the all of these uh, pastor in your computer you can just have a look and you will understand what's happening here first, first it adds the debian buster here after that it adds keys and uh, now it is just uh, installing the package from chromium okay uh, at the end I, you can see that it updates the um, apt get and uh, it installs chrome and chromium driver uh, just like we did in our previous video and uh, now it installs selenium we can remove this part because we are we have already installed our selenium don't forget so to subscribe wait a few minutes you will see in, uh, in the logs that it is uh, installing a bunch of things in your computer sorry in your instance all right now you can see that uh, all the packages are installed let me just clear this thing and uh, add a new row let's try to run it and see if it runs our uh, driver uh, from selenium Import web driver execute this okay we have got our web driver let's try to uh, open the driver here driver equals to web driver dot prom <clears throat> okay now you can see that we have uh, this error that uh, tells us that assuming, assuming that chrome has crashed we need to add some options before we can uh, open run chrome driver in our linux environment okay linux or ubuntu environment so let's first add some options okay if you remember uh, i created some options in my previous video that you the same options you can use here but make sure that you remove the executable path okay uh, when we install using uh, chromium driver here it simply adds the chromium driver in our default path so just need to mention options and that's it it should do the trick okay let me remove this one first and uh, let's execute this it will load the function and now we can call this function and i'm pretty sure it will simply uh, it, uh, open the driver for us okay you can see that we have uh, got our driver let me just add a new row here and try to get something maybe driver equals to sorry driver that get uh HTTP, sorry
w.google.com and uh, let's execute this and you can see that we have got it let's let me add a new row and see what we get driver dot get um, okay driver dot page source uh, all right now if you type driver dot page source you can see that we have got our page although it got the capture maybe or uh, maybe it didn't but uh, you see that we have got our html response and there is a lot more than that if you click on that uh, button here anyways uh, now it is running just fine just need to make sure that you quit the uh, just a minute it is a uh, lot of stuff uh, okay let me just close this and uh, add a new code and uh, let me just drive it out, quit out of it run this and you will see that it just quits successfully so this is how you run uh, go, uh, sorry selenium on your google Cloud now because it uh, the operating system of uh, ubuntu that is basic uh, that is where actually the google Cloud is based on so it is updated so it no more update uh, use the same method anyways uh, i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button have a good day